Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology Group. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you a hands-on example of how to perform driver-based revenue planning. This is part of Enterprise Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service Financial Module. So we start with uh, logging to our cloud instance and if you haven't configured your financial module yet, please watch my previous video. Uh, I shown how to configure and define all the assumptions. So the financial module you find revenue and there you have got various options. You can do revenue planning based on driver, based on trends or based on your direct input. So because we are going to do driver based planning, click on driver and trends. To start with this, we are going to put some sample data into our application and then we can play around with this. So I already prepared a sample data. I'll show it to you. So it consists of dimension member and point of view. So we have data for various account dimension member, your period dimension and finally your point of view and finally define your cube name right so this is a sample data file you can find in your shared location as well concept point of view uh, i can show you go to navigator and dimension and there is a dimension called plan element which has got various members so it differentiate based on data load data calculate and adjustments so by default when you load data it goes to OFS load and all adjustments are done under OFS adjustment on post calculate data available in OFS calculate so P data being loaded in OFS load and post calculate data goes to OFS calculate and adjustment so let's load this data first in order to load this data you go to home page to your application and there is an overview select your cube and then you can load data select your cube I'm going to load data to the financial cube and there's an option called action import data point your data file so I already stored data file over here you have option you can load from your own system alternatively you can use epm automate utility to put data file into your server under inbox today i'm going to use from a local file point to your file this is my data file and you can validate and import so validate and import creates one job respectively therefore you can go back to job console and check there are two job would have created validate and import now data available into your application i loaded data for financial year fy17 for this intersection so there are two tab to this or two data form in one data form you define various drivers and second data form based upon your driver values and input data the calculation take place so I show you with one sample examples. We start with what is some sample number? This calculate number I loaded, and you find we have volume and average selling price. So the actual calculation take place based on volume multiplied by average selling price, and other adjustments are being. subtracted from here so volume multiplied by average selling price and then if you have some assumption or adjustments or increase and decrease will in turn apply to this so let's see this example so your data value of volume is double to 830 and your average selling price is 449 you can actually apply 
calculate and make sure the logic you think is correct or not 22830 multiply by 449 it is 10 25 0, 6, 7, 0. so all this calculation take place over here so i can expand this calculator uh, this is quarterly there is a separate note for quarter and month and you see the product revenue is basically a multiplication on average selling price multiply by your volume okay so this is how you can change once data gets input now you can do projection of your product revenue by increase and decrease in terms of percentage and in turn you can apply adjustment let me add 10% you can type either 10% directly or 0.1 so this assumption will apply across all quarters when you save a business will execute behind the screen and this assumption is going to apply so what do you see over here your all quarterly volume increment by 10% in this case so if the old value was 23 I've written over here 23830 and increment by 10% therefore it turns out to be 25113 it is actually rounding off okay so assumption in turn apply to this now the new value would be 25112 multiply by 449 you see the value gets updated over here as well upon save the calculation business will invoke and you get the new value over here which is our 25 112 in addition to increase and decrease of your assumption value you can also apply adjustment so right now it is 100,448 if I adjust for an individual quarter or for a across all four quarters I say in case volume is increased by 1% it is a kind of what if analysis in case volume increased by 1% what would your product revenue if volume increased by 1% the total volume would be you see the difference between both of them is 1000 or 1000 gets added over here and the newly created projected revenue available over here okay so as planner input value the projected revenue product project revenue being calculated over here in addition this planner can directly apply adjustment under project revenue so in case you want to adjust this assume what if your project product revenue increased by 1000 directly so you type 1000 and when you save the adjustment apply to this sometime a little slow in responding so you see your quarterly plan for product revenue increment by one it is five zero one five two five one one five two this is how your planner continue to project uh, product revenue or service revenue in addition this there are certain other expenses <coughs> can also be adjusted so you see there are different types of trends um you have overweight overhead free charges and they are defined in terms of percentage this data i loaded and further to your product revenue these value would be adjusted for example you take um, overhead percentage which is 19.852 so which further apply to this so 19.852 I expand for individual quarter and this is what you see 25 112 multiply by 449 and we need to find out 19.852 divide by 100 into 19.8521 228381 this should be the value over here and it rounds out F so I should have applied this field in all charges directly on my adjusted value 
so you can check over here your total value 45551.152 and I can calculate 19.852 percentage this is 45551152 sorry 45551152 divided by 100 into 19.8521 this is the percentage so these values are being subtracted 198521 and this is what the value i get Nine zero four two. There's a difference. There may be some round off value. Therefore, there's some difference. But actually, calculation takes place this way. So finally, you have total under driver base planning. You specify value for various drivers. You define trends or driver, and then based upon the input, the calculation takes place under driver based revenue planning so that's it for today in a subsequent example i'll show you how to write business logic for the same calculation thank you should you have any question please feel free to write to us